I ain't got no 30 seconds on my tape measure. My tape measure got zero, one quarter, half, three quarter, one. What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenlee here with Cleaning Green Lawn Service in beautiful South Georgia. Dark South Georgia. <laughs> um, I bet y'all think it's Groundhog Day. Y'all remember that movie? Maybe I'll start all my videos with the coffee pot. <laughs> oh, man. It's about 6.30 and... Uh, we leaving at 6.45 this morning. Elro's probably pulling in down there to crank up to 150 now. You usually here about 10, 15 minutes early. I don't know if he's went by yet or not. Anyway, I'm here at the office making me some coffee, man. I don't always drink the coffee as far as like the whole, I put a whole pot in this thermos. It's a big thermos. And uh, actually very seldom do I drink the whole thing when we out cutting. But I got it if I want it. That's the thing. And if you stop by the store and get a cup, you go cut a two acre yard, get back in the truck, it's cold. So I can take and pour just a little bit out of this one. Anyway, we got to go out today and uh, do some cutting, man. Do some cutting. We're leaving early so we can go do that bank right off the bat. Get that thing done, go do the tax office. Then we got uh, about a four acre to do. I got to trim and edge the next door neighbors for them. And uh, I think uh, that's really about it. And I think we may go cut some at the college today uh, to make tomorrow a little bit easier because we, we're loaded down for tomorrow because we, we didn't cut about half our properties last Friday because uh, the rain and so we just skipped them you know this time of year they ain't growing super fast but so we got this friday's properties and about half of last friday's on the schedule so anyway it is what it is man it is what it is so hey the coffee's done let me get this thermos filled up and get out of here check back with y'all boys this is devastating we got low washer fluid Yeah. Let's see here. See if Elro's down here. I didn't hear the F-150, but if he ain't here, he's two minutes late. Not two minutes late. Two minutes late for him. Because he's usually 15 minutes early. Yeah, his truck's down there. Uh, he just... I see it lit up, man. Oh, yeah. He got the 150 crank now. All right, man. Let me get out of this thing, hop in that vehicle, get ready to roll. All right, my posse, we on another new yard. So, I don't know if y'all remember the one last year I slid the Super Z into the edge of the pond on. That's that four acres next door. This is one I came out and edged and trimmed for them, did some cleanup for them. And uh, they go out of town a lot. I guess and they really wanted me while when I cut over there I just come over here and I edge and trim this they do all the mowing but I sent her a message today because the gate was locked out back and so she told me how to get in there she said I meant to text you is there any way you could just cut it and so I sent her the price on cutting it because we can't cut the whole thing man this is low land out here uh, we can't even go back to that little house back there I mean you can't hardly walk back there man it's bad we're gonna probably get uh probably about to the back of the driveway all the way across even right here um and that's probably far as we're gonna be able to go but i gotta see if i can get in this gate and get in the pool area back here they got a gate but like it's got a pipe or a drain pipe or something but it ain't a big area but i don't want to weed eat all of it and i ain't got no push mower with me so i got elro started on putting the cut and uh, I'm going to grab me a bottle of water because I've been trimming and edging and blowing for the last hour. So, 
I guess a half empty bottle. But uh, anyway, Elro's out there getting it done. So we finna get with it, man. Go ahead and knock this out. See, it's an extra couple of hundred dollars, you know. Wouldn't even in the went him on the schedule today. We we're gonna get done early. Still gonna get done early, probably. Unless we go cut it to college some, but anyway. I'll check back with y'all listening to what we do. Look at there, boy. Me and Elro just invaded hog and bones, man. I got to pull up there and get him now. The trailer parking's around here at the back. Y'all know Elro. You gonna be running no 5Ks, man. Especially now that he's full. He'll probably be asleep before he gets to the house. He can cut some grass, so. I, I told him they didn't want to put you in no 5K, but you could cut some grass. Well, I'm still bringing my walking stick to let do any walking at all. Balance. Yeah. Amazing how much that stick helps though, ain't it? Just give you a little yeah. balance. So anyway, we done for today. We got done at what, 12, a little 412? Something like that. And we got about six or seven or something like that on the schedule for tomorrow. One of them's in college, but we'll have I guess we'll have 002. If not, we'll make a poor decision going home today. <laughs> Hard to know he's gonna be there. Yeah, he ain't said he ain't said he wasn't gonna be there, but sometimes you know he don't tell me till I send out the message. I'm sure he's gonna be there. But uh because he's a new, he ain't got no choice. Yeah. So we got a, we got a five acre tomorrow and the college, so that'd be the two big ones, and then some small yards. So and then me and Z Man gonna be working Saturday. We're gonna do landscape hedges and stuff all day long, I guess. Get all them caught up and tidied up. So, staying busy. <clears throat> all right, it is 8:49 at night. Had been well, I have been working all day. Uh, well, I got done a little after seven. Uh, I'll show y'all what I did. I'm gonna take and put a picture of it in here. So, if you're on my Facebook page, my personal page, you've already seen it. Um, yeah, uh, a dresser for my grandson. Uh, my daughter found that online. Um, that look very similar to that little differences but uh, I think it was like $2,300 and she asked how much it cost to build it and I was like it won't cost $2,300 but I did spend a lot of time on it uh, probably about $500 worth of materials uh, plywood wood uh, <sighs> You know, drawer slides, uh, stain. Oh, the doors. I did not build those doors. Uh, a buddy of mine down the road built those at his cabinet shop. One of my subscribers was supposed to build them for me. <laughs> he got busy, though. He's got way too much going on to mess with them. He told me, he's like, man, I'll stop what I'm doing, and I'll do them today. And I was like, nah, man, you all, you know. I knew he was already behind on what he was working on, and I was like, nah, this guy down here builds for other people. I'll just get him to do it, so. They ain't cheap either. But anyway, it's all good. Um, so, it ain't perfect. I ain't a cabinet maker. But y'all know my buddy next door's got a cabinet shop where my office is at and all. And uh, so he helped me out with it, you know, as far as laying it out and... Uh, <clears throat> I did most of the work, uh, but he made sure I was doing it right. <laughs> and he helped me put it all together today. So, it was a team effort. But uh, anyway, I ain't no cabinet man. Yeah, you can have that. Framing, 
that kind of stuff, decks, you know, stuff that, you know, if you were then an eighth of an inch, three sixteenths of an inch, man, you good. No, man, them cabinets, you got to be dead on. They started talking about, cut that 13 and 3 30 seconds. Man, I ain't got no 30 seconds on my tape measure. My tape measure got zero, one quarter, half, three quarter, one. <laughs> um, I'm out getting my dog's dog food, man, at 8.55 at night because I forgot to get it today, and they're out. And they looking at me. They looking at me like they need to be on that commercial where they uh, try to get you to give $19 a month to help a dog in need. That's how they were looking at me when, <laughs> when I come in the house without the dog food, man. I was like, they gonna call, they gonna call uh, Department of uh, Family Services or something on me, you know. So anyway, I gotta get them some food, and uh, I don't think that's handicapped there. No. So anyway, let me get off this thing before I run over somebody. Hey, appreciate y'all taking time to watch. My prayer for you is always the same, that the Lord might richly bless you and that you might sell of your blessings as from him. Hope you have a great day.